Hello, thank you for joining us for the first year experience video for the Bachelor of Arts in History program at our Cranford campus. My name is Christina and I'm part of the recruitment team here at Laurier and I'm joined today by two of our current Laurier students along with one of our faculty members. So we will begin with some quick introductions um, before we get into answering some, some great questions. So hello, my name is Jeffrey. I'm currently in my fourth year of history at the Brantford campus. Hi, I'm Madison. I'm in my second year at the Brantford campus, also for history. Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Hahn. I'm the program coordinator for the history program. And I teach here. It's great here. I uh, hope you can join us. <laughs> Well, thank you all for joining. Um, I know it's very busy as a student, and I imagine especially uh, being in fourth year, you're just rounding up your time at Laurier. So it means so much um, that you've taken some time out of your schedule, and we're all so appreciative of it. So one of the first questions I'd like to chat a little bit about is what, as two students in the history program, what do you feel the most important part of the first year experience would be for a student who's choosing to come to Laurier at uh, the Brantford campus for history? Um, I would say, well, first of all, in general, the most important part of the first year experience is your ability to network, I would say. Like, you're like, um, usually in first year, you're def you're either put into the residence program or you're put into the locus program, which is off the off campus um, program. And I think that um, opportunity is a great place to um, sort of get to know people and make friends and that's that I feel is the most important part of first year. Um, in terms of programs specific for history, um, I would say the most important aspect of first year as a history student is to really try to get to know your professors. Um, I know that like when I got to know like say Dr. Han and like um, a few other professors on campus, it definitely enriched my experience at Laurier and yeah it got to like it let me see like the second I got to see like my professors outside of cl their classrooms, like that's when I really like felt like I got I got to know my professors. I agree with I agree with Jeffrey there. Um, but for first year, what I found was most valuable, particularly at the Brantford campus, was the smaller class sizes because it's kind of daunting if you're in a large lecture to have and say those things that you want to talk about, especially in history, because you know we are all a bunch of talkers. Or at least I am. So I found that the smaller class sizes were very important, especially made it easier to get to know your professors, as Jeffrey said, because that really takes it to the next level because your professors then bring in their own personal experiences and things that they have done, which is a valuable learning tools for when you're a student trying to figure out what you want to do post degree. And I would echo what Jeffrey and Madison have just said. We are really, we are this small, uh, family kind of like welcoming community and class sizes are really small and you will really get to know your professors very well in your classrooms but also outside of your classroom and as a program we organize a lot of events for our first year students and for our students in general so lots of great events um, and you will really get to know your faculty members very well um, and we are really good at throwing parties so <laughs> <laughs> I do I think something that um, I always hear from people is the professors will have office hours, which is designated time for you to go by their office to chat. And I hear from so many professors that, that they just sit there and they want students to come and they want to have that, but that sometimes if nobody comes, they just get bored and they just have to do their normal work. So um, it's a great period of time to take advantage of and use those opportunities. Um, okay, so with regards to the courses um, that you would take in first year in that transition coming from high school to university, what are some of those first year history courses like in the workload in general? Um, so for first, in terms of first year, um, I feel like um, for the, in terms of course load, I feel like it's very flexible. Like there aren't a lot of mandatory courses that you have to take in your first year. There are like maybe one or two 100 year courses that you take. And then beyond that, you have a lot of elective options. And usually with those electives as first year, it's recommended that you take like Branford Foundation courses. Um, and th through that, like to get, sort of get those out of the way as you need them to graduate. 
Um, so that's generally how the course load looks like. Um, in terms of like the difficulty of the first year course load, I didn't. I personally didn't find it too bad. I found it very manageable. But I would say the um, definitely in my first semester, in the first weeks, like I definitely felt very intimidated. Like like the jump from high school course load to like university course load was certainly very daunting. Like you had all these readings to do and like all these assignments that I had no idea how to do. But like um, I think eventually, as like the the like as the semester went by, as my first semester went by, like I definitely felt that like this course, the course load was manageable. I think the, the most, the hardest part of first year is definitely figuring out how to do these things rather than actually doing it. Um, my transition was a little bit different than Jeffrey's because I did college before. So the transition from high school to college to university was not as I think jarring or dra dramatic it wasn't even really dramatic really because like if i think about what i did in high school even like there was pretty similar things you do your readings you show up to a lecture section and you do some essays and other projects um the Bramford foundations were some that i found really helpful there's also a few resources on campus if students are struggling with like writing or anything like that they're worried about their essays or their course load there is the like accessible learning center that is available for students as well as the writing center which if students are having figuring out that they're struggling with this they can go there for help for how to basically if you have a really long essay and you've never done a long essay they can tell you how to how you would go about doing the steps and process of like picking the thesis going through the thing going through what you need to research and basically forming a timeline for you if you need that which i think would have been really helpful for like heck even college me because i didn't go do those look for that resource when i was in college because i didn't but i did when i was in university and i found that really helpful we offer a nice variety of first year history uh, courses and they're really fun i personally teach two first year courses uh, pre-modern world history and modern world history and they are both really fun. We also offer a world history on pirates, history of pirates, history detectives, uh, popular culture. So uh, a really wonderful uh, group of first year courses that students can explore. And also, honestly, if you're struggling or if you have any questions, we are always here to help you. Um, we really want you to do well, not only pass the course, but also to <laughs> to be really successful uh, in the program. So, yes. I think as much as you want to be successful when you come to Laurier, we also want you to be successful. And to echo what Madison said, the Writing Center and the resources available through them is incredible. I truly believe every student should book themselves in to go to the Writing Center as they start their academic career because you learn so much. Um, okay, so I know that a lot of the courses we offer at Laurier are very rich with opportunities to apply your learning outside of the classroom. So I'm wondering if there are any opportunities that you have either had as a student in the history program or that you know are upcoming that you're really excited about. Um, yeah, personally for me, um, I definitely, I unfortunately missed out on this because of COVID, but um, there was this battlefields course that takes place every two years. So it would, it, for my year or for my career, I guess, it took place in the, on the first year, which in my first year, which I couldn't apply for. And then in the third year, which probably didn't happen because of COVID and I wasn't going to go because of COVID. Um, so, but yeah, it, it was, I believe it's a two week um like I guess not, not really a vacation, but it's a two week tour of Europe. And basically afterwards, like you would like basically um, be assessed on, on on that. Like you would like the professors would give you a tour of the class. I'm sure Dr. Han could give a better explanation of it. But yeah. uh, um, basically you are in Europe for two weeks, visiting all the sites, major sites that Canadian military uh, were at uh, during World War One and World War Two. Uh, and two professors will actually travel with you. Um, and you get to see really awesome stuff and um, have uh, this wonderful experience of uh, hands-on historical learning. Yeah, and while I may not be the biggest fan of traveling, I actually would have taken that course if, if it was available, but unfortunately, I just kind of missed out on it, so. Um. Now, Jeffrey likes to sit at home and um, <laughs> yes, that's what Jeffrey likes to do. <laughs> 
Um, actually, I didn't even know that that, pro that program's going to be coming up and I'll be able to take it, which is exciting for me. Sorry, Jeffrey. <laughs> like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but future me, guess what we're doing? Um, there's actually, we have the privilege to be able to, um, one of the specialties we can do is in uh, public history which is, Absolutely. I know that I'm looking into that because uh, the museums and monuments courses and a few of the other ones seem really interesting to me because I like museum work and like the way things are going, it's like a, a certain electives that you can choose for it are count towards your specialization, but are not just history courses. Like you can take an archeology span course or an indigenous studies course, which go to enrich your degree as a whole, especially if you wish to go and pursue a career within that sector of history itself. Um, exactly. The Museum of Monuments course was canceled for this year, but right. that's due to COVID. But it's okay. I took a class that I've actually found really interesting, so we're all good. And I'm hoping it's up next year. Sorry, Jeffrey. <laughs> that you no, don't get to go in. All good. <laughs> all good. Um, so to pick up on what Madison was just saying, uh, we have this third-year public history course called Memory Monuments and Museums, and I taught the course uh, two years ago. And we put together this amazing public history exhibit, um, which incorporated physical exhibit, online exhibit, podcasts, um, live performance, um, on like local history of Brantford, um, immigrant history. And um, I helped students curate that exhibit. By the way, I'm a, I'm a curator too, uh, besides being a history professor. I have been working at the ROM Royal Ontario Museum for over 15 years now. So. When students come here, actually our strength, our program strength is public history. So we do offer a lot of like placement opportunities for third and fourth year students. They get to work at heritage organizations in town and outside of town. And we will provide a lot of hands-on um, learning experience. That, those opportunities sound so cool. I'm so sad that I didn't get the chance to take that battlefield course when I was a student. <laughs> um, that's amazing. Hopefully those courses will be up and running in the next year or so as things start to settle down. Um, so thank you so much for sharing that. Now this is hands down the hardest question I am going to ask today. But I'm wondering if you could pick one memory that is your favorite memory uh, from being a student at Laurier. And it can be related to the history program or it can be related to something else you've done on campus. Well, that's <laughs> difficult for sure. Um, yeah, I originally thought you were gonna ask like, oh yeah, favorite memory from first year. I was like, ah, that's not too hard. But if you're gonna ask favorite memory for like all four years, that would be a tough one to say the least. Um, There are a lot of like, good memories I've had. I can't really decide which one's my favorite per se. Like I think like starting like a chess club at Laurier was definitely a highlight for me. Um, like even though like it wasn't like that successful, like I'm still like happy with the with the people that have been coming out and like the thing that I've kind of started like at Laurier. Um, there's also like my first year experience. Like I don't even know which experience to name period. Like the residence experience was amazing. Like I met some lifelong friends. Like I'm still friends with a lot of people I've met in first year today. Um, and then all the extracurricular things that I've done, like, go like going to like different clubs, like meeting new people through that. That's definitely a highlight as well. Um, um, and yeah, and like obviously certain history courses I've taken, like Dr. Han's courses are, are really good too. So like, I'm not gonna name like specific ones, but there, there are a lot of courses out there that were definitely highlights as well. Uh, to think of what my favorite memories are, I do have to admit a lot of the club ones have been because they're fun. You get to interact with your own peers from different, like, you, you, like we interact with peers who are even from uh, through the history group through who are at the Waterloo campus and stuff like that, which is fun because you get, don't get to see those people every day, but you get to hear their opinions. So that's great. I love it because it's like you can debate and talk with them. I do think another one of my favorite experience has been when I did some volunteering and stuff like that on campus. Um, I enjoy those types of things. So unlike Jeffrey, who's like, no, I would prefer not traveling. I actually enjoy that because I'm a very social person in a way, but I also enjoyed a lot of like, there's a lot of like little things that like 
just come and go that you take for granted and then you think about it like a couple years down the line or so you think on it and you're like those are some great memories i miss that i miss sitting in the cafeteria talking with people as we struggle over an essay <laughs> like those little memories they're cherishable okay they're so cherished for me <laughs> um i have a lot of fond memories if i have to pick one the bus tour uh, to the Royal Ontario Museum and downtown Toronto we did with History Students Association a few years ago. I took them there. I showed them like a guided tour of the museum and we went to Chinatown for lunch. We had so much fun together. Um, and post COVID, let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell Madison's really excited about all these opportunities she's going to have. I really miss the lecture hall debates, okay? That is the one thing I miss all the way through this COVID stuff is that like, you, you can see everybody's interaction, but it's not like, it's not as organic, I guess I would say, but it's, it's like, like, it, like it flows, but it's not as like spontaneous. Yeah. But even during COVID, a lot of our courses are very like seminar based. So mm -hmm. Jeffrey and Madison are in my uh, second year modern Asian history course right now, and we have, very lively debate discussion. Um, yes, even on Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's great to hear that you're making the most of it. Uh, certainly, that's all we can do these days. So, um, hopefully, that this is these experiences that you who tuned in to watch the video today. Um, I hope you found it uh, very enlightening, and I hope that this has helped you hear a little bit more about what the experience is like as a history student at our Brantford campus at Laurier. I also would love to thank you all again for joining. Um, I I feel like I want to take that battlefield course so badly now. So <laughs> hopefully, um, hopefully that was as exciting for you guys as it was for me to learn about. Um, hopefully we will see you on campus this September. Um, please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions about the history program. Um, and we look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.